Hello and welcome to Impact Africa, where we celebrate and have conversation with diverse people, organizations and businesses making a positive impact on lives and communities. In addition, we use the platform to highlight and celebrate events, places and positive news. I am Dr. Kemi Akiode Adibayo, known as Mama K. And in today's program, yes, it's the beginning of the month. Even though, yes, today it's not really the beginning of the month. It was on the 1st of April, but we're celebrating and highlighting a lot of calendar dates by the United Nations and as well as South Africa. So we are celebrating the World Autism Month, which is about raising awareness of autism, normally on the 2nd of April. And yes, on the 1st of April, which a lot of people go April Fool's Day, but we've moved away from that prank you know that we all do so you already saw a program which was celebrating empower africa with the graduation of over 100 graduates who are learning social skills and other skills that will help them in their career and in their life yes kudos to you chantelle for putting back and making positive impact in the lives of others even though you're such a young soul you know yourself okay so right the different dates that we have to celebrate in the month of april there's a lot happening that united nations have designated as days that should be celebrated annually even though they should be every day so yes the month of april we're highlighting a lot of united nations designated day which are normally events that are supposed to be celebrated every day to be honest but saying that the april month has been designated for some of these dates starting with the second of april there are other dates already but we're focusing on the ones we're passionate you know about so second of april is the world autism awareness day we'll talk more about that very shortly and the 6th of april is the international day of sport for development and peace and of course the 7th of april is the world health day and then moving on to the 28th of april which is the chinese language day so go out there to celebrate the chinese language or to learn you know how to say hello please thank you you know and so on and as well the 23rd of april is the english language day where we're supposed to promote english language as well as a language which a lot of countries around the world do speak then we go on to Yes, the, the month of April is mostly for various language days. So 23rd of April is the Spanish language day as well. So go and learn some Spanish, you know, out there. Then the 23rd of April, this is one of my favorite, is the International Day for Girls in ICT. So we want to push our girls' child into learning more about ICT, which is inform information communication technology. Then on the 25th of April, it's supposed to be the World Malaria Day. And yes, we're supposed to have eradicated malaria in Africa. But thank you to all the organization, businesses and individuals who are doing a lot in Africa in eradicating malaria. Then of course, the 30th of April, is the International Jazz Day. So yes, I know in next month, um, Cape Town will be celebrating for two days the Cape Town International Jazz Day at the CTICC in Cape Town. And that will be happening on the 3rd and 4th of May. So yes, but we will tell you a little bit more about what we're doing. And not forgetting the 27th of April, it's South African Freedom Day. And I'll tell you a little bit more about it very shortly. Enjoy. All right, yes, let's now go into some of what we'll be sharing on today's program. For this segment, you're going to be watching a short video explaining about what autism is all about 
by the National Autistic Society. This was a video done by them, not by us, but we're using this as an educational tool to just raise an awareness of what autism is all about. And following after that immediately, we will be showing a few video clips of some of what has been happening by, you know, yes, Nosh for Josh, the Joshua Sandy Institute has been doing a lot in the last three or four, five years to raise awareness of autism. And congratulations to Joshua Sandy who celebrated his birthday on the 2nd of April, which is the World Autism Day. So we're going to share some of the journey of what the Nosh for Josh has been doing with the Bake Off they've been having in various places. Enjoy. Autism is a lifelong disability which affects how people, like me, communicate and interact with the world. There are about 700,000 adults and children on the autism spectrum in the UK. And like everyone, each autistic person has their own strengths and challenges. But all of us have difficulties with communicating and interacting with other people. This could mean not speaking at all, needing longer to process information, or not understanding facial expressions. We also engage in repetitive behaviour, doing or thinking the same thing over and over. This is sometimes for fun, and sometimes to help deal with our anxiety. People on the autism spectrum can also find unexpected changes, however small, very distressing. And then there is sensory overload, where noise, smells, touch and bright lights become very painful and overwhelming. All these challenges can make the world feel very scary and hard to understand, and sometimes send us into physical and emotional meltdowns or shutdowns. It is very important that autistic people get help from an early age. But life can become very difficult if children or adults don't get the right support or understanding. Autistic children are three times more likely to be excluded from school. Only one in six autistic people in the UK have a full-time job. And over a third of autistic adults have reported serious mental health problems. The National Autistic Society is the UK's leading charity for autistic people. Since 1962, we have been changing society's attitudes and transforming individuals' lives. We want to create a society that works for autistic adults and children. And with your help, we can. So here I am standing in Athlone on Youth Day um, as an older youth and uh, you know no better place to be than Athlone where all my characters come from, Auntie Mole from Belgravia Road in Athlone so I feel really close to them and this is a special day for all South Africans um, because I think uh, you know we've, we've always we've gone through so much to get to where we are 
and I think that we in a place of South Africans right now, we, we still realize we've got to keep on pushing, we've got to keep on pushing. And every day on Youth Day, one has the opportunity to be associated with youth. I get so many emails, and the one that excited me uh, was an email that I got uh, from Josh and from his mom talking about autism. Josh is 15 years old, and being here on the 16th of June with this young man, on, uh, you know, celebrating and, and educating and informing everybody about what it's like to live with autism, but not just informing people about the issues surrounding autism, but also making a difference. And I think what Josh is doing is amazing, raising awareness in a very fun way, involving young people and people like me to be here today on Youth Day. Um, this is a perfect opportunity and I'm happy to be here. And I want to, when I leave here, I'm sure I'll know more than what I did when I walked in. Thank you. So yes, what should you be looking out for this month of May on Impact Africa? We are going to be showing you an event that us, you know, I, I just felt humble being part of it, which was organized by the Mandela Seniors and the Hope Next Seniors at the Hope Next venue celebrating Easter. So they had an Easter lunch. So you'll be seeing, you know, what that is all about, but we'll show you clips of what that is that happened in the month of March to celebrate Easter. Kudos to my sister Hadija and Marlene Jameson, Marlene Whitehead, everybody involved at the Hope Next and what Hope Next is trying to do for the town of Delft. I call it a town, township, town whatever they want to call it and then next we're going to be showing clips of the eat clothing drive thank you thank you thank you thank you to all our partners who are, and individuals who have donated shoes bags toys food Catalilana. thank you so much jive thank you so much all the offices um, um the the muslim organization in delft the mosque everyone thank you so so much for supporting this clothing drive and yes the eid you know is always after ramadan so you'll be seeing what we'll be doing and kudos to our project leader um coordinator madame wahida thank you for all you're doing with the family and all the team who work with you to make this happen we just appreciate you god bless you and yes next after that we'll be having the easter family fun fair just a clip remember this is a clip so we're going to be showing you the full-on video in this month of april so well done to the nigerian women of goodwill for organizing this amazing easter family fun fair the event was attended by almost 500 or over 500 people games sport football not just about nigeria not just about family but about young people about you know other nations cameroon congo zimbabwe they were all there celebrating using sport and you know we had you will hear from the president of the nigerian women of goodwill madame peace and of course my brother from another mother apostle doctor honorable um who will be talking about nikasa he's the chairperson for nikasa so kudos 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 to you apostle henry for what you're doing in the community with your team and as well yes we'll be sharing wimp africa's 10th anniversary which happened in nigeria lagos i was humbled and honored to have been part of it so you'll see just what all this was about and kudos to dr buki belo jayesimi and a team as well for all what you're doing in nation building in nigeria and across africa and not forgetting the two clips we're going to show you out of base sunday market wow yes sunday market is always fun anywhere in cape town but the out bay one was so special where we were having a talk with the lions club and i was so humbled as well to hear what the lions club is doing to put back in the community of out bay and even beyond you know as most of you probably know the lions international is an inter international organization doing amazing things in communities and with people and so on last but not the least yes 
This was still celebrating Easter with an Easter jazz bash. Well done to Brococo for bringing an amazing team of people to Langa with the jazz in the native yard with my brother as well who was there but you'll find out more about all that in the at the end of the, you know the event when we will feature the full-on program but these are all clips for you to get you ready for what is to come i'll be right back Can we just ask you as well, Imam, thank you for sharing with us, you know, earlier on. Um, no, I'll be, I'll be doing this. So, uh, for me personally, I learned that Sadat today. I didn't know that was something that was practiced. Okay. So, is that done only in South Africa or is it re uh, expected for all Muslims everywhere? It's all over the world, all over the world. Right. You see, fasting, everybody fasts a certain time of the start of the morning yes. and the end fasting at night. Yes. Now, because the globe is around, now every split minute, or shall I say every split second, people are breaking their fast worldwide. Yes. Yes. Because as the world, as the sun sets for us, it rises for somebody else. Right? So all the laws is applicable to everybody, everywhere in the world. So with the 37, you said that's this year. So next year might change. It might be 38, it might be 40, it might even come down depending on the, on the economy. Okay. Right?
Wow, kudos to all our amazing young men and women and seniors who are doing amazing work to raise the profile of autism and to raise an awareness of what autism is about. And then those who are working with our seniors in Delft, kudos to you. Sis Adija, once again, thank you for all you do. It shouldn't be underestimated in terms of how you're putting back and impacting lives positively. And as well, you can, you've seen all the clips of what is yet to come for this month of April. So you need to get ready and just join us on Mondays and Fridays, 12 noon, to watch and the full you know, program on some of what we featured and can't wait as well to join in to share more of what we're doing. So I want to end and close with this. So yes, on the 27th of April is South Africa's Freedom Day. And this is a day that was, that commemorates the first democratic election that took place in South Africa, which was on the 27th of April, 1994. And this was after years of white rule and segregation and a lot of other things that happened then. So kudos to all South Africans for that journey. We're not yet there completely, but we continue to move on. I know this year is a, an important year again when elections will be taking place. So please vote right. Vote right for what you want. And thank you to all our politicians as well, even though it's not an easy job what they're doing, but Thank you for stepping forward. If you need to correct yourself, if you need to improve on what you're not doing right, this is the time to do that because you are there for the people of South Africa. And yes, you know, Freedom Day, freedom means different things to various people. So I want to just close by asking you, what does freedom mean for you personally? What does freedom mean for you personally? Just share with us what freedom means for you personally okay that's all we've got time for and this is mama k saying stay safe stay blessed till next month of may when i'll be back to introduce the month of may to you which is our african month and my birthday month as well and anniversary month so yeah the celebration continues stay safe stay blessed remember god is love much love Thank you.